This presentation will talk about the status of poultry industry in the Philippines. For the outline of this presentation, the first part of our topic will talk about some definition of terms that we are going to use in this uh, discussion. We are also going to talk about the livestock and the poultry industry in the Philippines as of December 2021 and the chicken status situation report by the Philippine Statistics Authority as of July to September 2021. For the definition of terms, so when we say farm gate price, that refers to the price for the sale of the farm produce direct from the producer. So this presentation will also deal with the term inventory for the animal population. So when we say inventory, that refers to the actual number of domesticated animals present in the farm at a specific reference date. We also have the term livestock. So when we say livestock, this refers to farm animals kept or raised for consumption, work, or leisure. For purposes of censuses and surveys, livestock covers only those that are tended and raised by an operator. In general, poultry is separate as a distinct group of animals. We also have the term livestock or poultry production. This refers to the volume of indigenous or locally raised animals disposed for slaughter, plus animals exported or shipped out for slaughter, both in live weight equivalent. The classification of chickens and other domestic fowl, we usually use the term uh, we have the chickens for breeding and egg production, are termed as laying hens and pullets. For chickens that are for meat production or slaughter, so they are classified as broilers, others as capons. For other chickens, we have the multi-purpose mixed stock. So this includes or these are classified as laying hens and pullets. Another terminology that we are going to use for livestock products from slaughtered animals is the primary products. So when we say primary products, those, pro those are products coming directly from slaughtered animals, including meat, offals, raw fats, fresh hides, and skins. We also have the processed products. So when we say processed products, these are derived from the processing of a primary products and include sausages, lard, and salted hides. We also have the term live weight. So when we say live weight, the live weight of animals intended for slaughter is the weight taken immediately before slaughter. It is assumed that animals intended for slaughter are kept in the slaughterhouse premises for 12 hours and are not fed or watered during this time. We also have the killed weight. So when we say killed weight, this is the gross weight of the carcass, including the hide or the skin, the head, the feet, and the internal organs, but excluding the part of the blood which is not collected during slaughter. We also have the dressed carcass weight. So this is the weight of the carcass after the removal of the parts indicated. We also have the we also have the carcass weight. When we say carcass weight, that is the weight of the carcass, including the slaughter fats. For additional information on the carcass. So we have uh, the data you know, on the production, production of meat for minor animals such as poultry, rabbits, game, and others are usually reported according to one or the other of the following concepts. So usually assign a letter 
to designate you know, the, the parts of the meat or the carcass that is included in the classification. For example, the letter A would include the thighs, the wings, the breast, the ribs, and the back. And they are collectively called as the ready-to-cook or oven-ready parts. The letter B would include these, all of these parts here, plus the heart, the liver, the gizzard, and the neck, which are also known as the giblets of the bird. Letter C would include letter B, all of these here, or all of the above, plus the feet, the head, and these are collectively known as the eviscerated weight of the bird. We also have the letter D. So letter D would include all of this, plus the viscera, or the inedible offals. And these are collectively known as the dressed weight of the chicken, or the uh, minor animals. The letter, the letter E would include all of this, the letter D, plus the blood, the feathers and the skins when, when applicable and this would uh, be collectively known as the live weight of the animal or the bird. Let's now proceed to the livestock and poultry statistics of the Philippines from October to December 2021. This diagram shows the livestock and poultry statistics of the Philippines from October to December 2021. So this shows the volume of production that is expressed in 1,000 metric tons. We also have here the production growth rate, which is a comparison of the growth rate of the different commodities in the previous years on the same period, October to December, and we also have the farm gate price. The farm gate prices of the poultry, you know, chickens and ducks, are expressed in peso per kilogram, live weight, and were taken from commercial farms. We also have the farm gate price growth rate in 2021, now comparing the growth rate at this particular period on the previous years of the same period. So this uh, column here represents the commodities. So as you can see here, the commodities that are being ranked or compared are the carabao, cattle, hog, goat, dairy, chicken, duck, chicken egg, and the duck egg. So as you can see you know, in the diagram, the chicken is considered to be the leading, co uh, leading commodity in the Philippines in terms of the livestock and poultry statistics in the period of October to December 2021. So the chicken has a total volume of production of 483.03 thousand metric tons. And this is followed by hog at 450.22 thousand metric tons. A third place is the chicken egg at 174 thousand metric tons. And at a descent fourth and fifth place are cattle and carabao at 69.91 metric tons. 69.91 th uh, thousand metric tons and 37.24 thousand metric tons respectively. So again, the January 1, 2021 total chicken production is at 483.03. So this is the total volume of production in thousand metric tons as of January 1, 2022. The live weight was 
negative 0.3% lower than the previous year's same period. So that is compared to the period of October to December 2020. The average farm gate price of broiler chicken in commercial farms for October to December 2021 was quoted at 100.38 pesos per kilogram live weight. This was lower by negative 0.3.5% from the previous year's same period. For ducks, the total volume of production as of January 1, 2022 was 6.86 thousand metric tons and the live weight was lower by negative 13.3% compared to the previous year's same period. For chicken eggs, the total volume of production as of January 1, 2022 was 174.58 thousand metric tons and this was 12.7% higher than the previous year's same period. The average farm gate price of eggs per piece was 5.32 pesos and this was negative 5.6% lower than the previous year's same period. In terms of the top producing regions of livestock and poultry in the Philippines, so these are the top producing regions in the country. Now, so this include Central Luzon, Calabarzon, Central Visayas, Western Visayas, and Northern Mindanao. As of January 1, 2022, the, the country's total chicken population was estimated at roughly 179 million heads or 1.2% more than the previous year's same period. In terms of the inventory of the slaughtered or the dressed birds, the total chicken for this period was 184 million heads, which is 5.5% more than the previous year's same period. And this was again you know, as of January 1, 2022. Of the chicken situation report released by the Philippine Statistics Authority covering the period of July to September 2021. The figure shows the volume of chicken production and annual growth rate in the Philippines from July to September 2019 to 2021. For the period of July to September 2021, the total chicken production in this period was at 425.89 thousand metric tons and the live weight was negative 1.4% lower than the previous year's same period output. Among the regions, Central Luzon was the top producer of chicken during the period of July to September 2021 with a production of 152.04 thousand metric tons live weight. This was followed by Calabarzon and Northern Mindanao with corresponding production of 66.41 thousand metric tons live weight and 36.05 thousand metric tons live weight. These regions accounted for 59.8% of the country's total chicken production. The country's total chicken population as of October 1, 2021 was estimated at 190.74 million birds. Of the total chicken inventory, the native improved chicken contributed 42.9%, followed by broiler, with 
and layered chicken with 23.1% share. The inventory of the broiler chicken and layered chicken grew by 5.5% and 6.3% respectively. On the other hand, the native or the improved chicken stocks declined by negative 1.9%. So this is the data that is released by the Philippine Statistics Authority covering the period of uh, July to September 2021. The figure 3 shows the distribution of the total chicken inventory by region in the Philippines as of October 1, 2021. In terms of inventory, Central Luzon reported the highest total chicken population at 29.77 million birds. This was followed by Northern Mindanao with 27.25 million birds and Calabarzon with 23.41 million birds. These three regions accounted for 42.2% of the total chicken inventory in the country. Soxargen, on the other hand, is at number 7 with 10.05 million total chicken inventory. Western Visayas also reported the highest inventory of native or improved chickens with 12.39 million birds. The same report also reported that the broiler chicken inventory was highest in Central Luzon with 14.97 million birds, while Calabarzon shared the highest inventory of layer chickens with 15.21 million birds. Figure 4 shows the average farm grade price of broiler chicken commercial and its annual growth rate in the period of July to September 2019 to 2021. The average farm gate price of broiler chicken in commercial farms for July to September 2021 was quoted at 92.65 pesos per kilogram live weight. This was higher by 2.9% from the previous year's same period, July to September, at an average of 90 pesos per kilogram live weight. 